Hi, it's Tim Quast for Market Structure Edge, and I want to show you one more item here that's pretty important, and that's how to create portfolios. Of course, we put a, a lot of information on your dashboard uh, already so that the math is doing the work for you, and you don't have to root through and try to find things that work. We will put big and stable stocks on your, port on your dashboard. We'll put uh, momentum trades. And of course, I invite you to come join a live demo. You can go to marketstructureedge.com, hit request demo. I conduct them. I try to do them uh, once a week. Now, there are times when I can't, but uh, they run 35 minutes or so, and we go through in real workman fashion how to use Edge, and we use a lot of examples. So come do that. Plus, I send, most times, daily market desk notes to help you find good opportunities and take gains, not chances. Let's create some portfolios. There are two ways to do this. If you want to track, let's say you want to track crypto stocks, you can create a, a static portfolio, put in crypto tickers here. I'll put coin in, for instance, uh, and uh, you know the uh, wolf is another one. There, you have marathon patents, M-A-R-A. That you could do that, you know, call it crypto stocks, save it, and you can track that group and see what the supply demand equation is. You'll know when to buy crypto and crypto stocks based on when supply and demand diverge. So that's very easy to do, and I have a bunch of uh, portfolios. I have a crypto portfolio on my desktop or on my dashboard. Then let's go over here and create a dynamic portfolio using the math from Edge uh, and with their market structure data. That's what we want to use. Let's suppose that you want to short stocks. Well, what do we want to find? converging supply and demand, not diverging supply and demand. So let's say market structure sentiment demand is uh, less or equal to 4.9, below 5. So we know there's insufficient demand. So we add that rule. We say we want a downtrend in market structure sentiment demand. Uh, so equal to down. We want to find, uh, add that rule, we want to find high short volume, excess supply. So we come down here to supply and say, well, let's make that greater or equal to 55%. So more than half of the trading volume is coming from borrowed stock. Uh, and then we can filter that. There are more criteria we could use. You could limit it to the top 20 very easily with this feature right here. If you want to do that, just click that and get rid of all. Use the drop down menu, say, oh, I just want the top 20. You filter for that, and instantly that's what it will give you every day. It's very simple, and the math uh, can help you find things that nobody else is going to show you. Nobody else is going to show you supply and demand and whether there's an opportunity to take gains, not chances. Edge will do that for you.